There is only one way in which men may enter in and enjoy the greatest blessings provided by God. Our spiritual condition is like a door, one that goes in and out. The door can be opened by a latch or it can be secured by bolts and bars that will help it resist the blowing of a terrible storm. Hello again God's beautiful people and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes. It's the show that's committed to bringing you uplifting and inspirational word to help you through those hard times. God told Noah to build an ark in which he and his family and the lives of those animals that he named would be saved from the pending doom. God himself planned the ark even down to the smallest of details and he made sure that there would be only one way to enter it. The ark would be the plan of salvation of God from the midst of judgment. When he looked down and saw that men were not living in a manner that was pleasing in his sight, he saw that they were cruel and evil and they lived a life that was far from what he had intended. God had revealed to Noah that he was about to put an end to all of it. He was going to destroy all of mankind and the earth and everything in it as well because all that he had created had turned ugly due to sin. Now Noah was well over 400 years old when God told him to build an ark and you can imagine the faith that Noah had to have to believe that. The world at that time was filled with violence and he wanted to put an end to it but he was willing to save a few because of the faith that was in Noah. The Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice and Noah was in fact obedient to God. Now God himself gave instructions on how he was to build it. He laid out the plans for Noah to follow and a failure to do so would cost him his life. There are several lessons that can be learned from this command to build. You see, first and foremost, we must believe in God. We must be willing to accept this word no matter how incredible it may seem or how harsh it may be. We must be obedient to him because our very lives depend on it. Because without faith, it's impossible to please him. God told him that there would be only one door that would lead in and out, and that door would be the one that leads to his safety and security. Jesus Christ is the door in which we can enter into the presence of God. He is the door that has certain qualities that makes it possible to do so. He is the strong door and his strength can resist any invader or foe, and he is meant to protect the members of the fold. Even before the foundation of the earth, God had planned the coming of Christ to save men, and he would be the only door to the presence of God. God gave Noah the provisions and the instructions for light in the ark as he told him to place a window above that for the purpose of allowing them to look up towards him. This window will provide them with what they needed when the darkness arises. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, and God has made a way for the light to come into the ark. Jesus Christ is the provision given to us by God as he is the light of the world the light that brings men out of darkness. He is the light that causes them to shine brightly, bringing the glory to God. Now God himself gave an invitation for Noah and his family to come in and enter into the ark. And once they and all the cargo was safely inside, he shut the door behind them. God opens doors for us and the ones that he opens, no man has the strength to close. And once he has closed the doors on the past, no man can open it. Only he has the power to do so. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believes in him will have eternal life. God invites us to come in and enter into the ark, the safety and security that he provides to us in the form of Jesus Christ. Christ told us that he came not to condemn the world, but to save it from the judgment of hell and eternal separation from God. It's through our faith in him that we are saved. Noah and his family had faith and they entered into the promise of God and they were saved. Storms in our life will come and that's a guarantee. God told Noah that a storm was coming and it would be one that would change his life forever. God knew that the high waters were coming and he warned them of the doom, but he provided a way of escape. Christ is the refuge and the escape for the believer. He saves us through the storms of life and the waters of judgment. 
The waters of the baptism symbolizes the saving work of Christ for a true believer, and he is the hope of salvation. God called on Noah to be separate from the world, just as he calls us to be as well. We are told that we should not be conformed to the ways of the world, but we must be renewed in our minds through Christ Jesus. Christ calls for his people to live a life of separation from evil. The ark was secure, the door was closed behind them by God. He provided the security and no man was about to enter it. Jesus admits to us that he is the door of the fold that admits the sheep. And those that come in to steal, kill, and destroy are not welcome in. It's only through the door can his people enter and Christ secures us perfectly. God has a door of mercy open today, but tomorrow it may not be available. Tomorrow it may be too late. The end is soon to come and the door will be shut forever. Then judgment will fall. God will judge man because of his selfishness, corruption, and his rejection. Jesus Christ offers the way because as he says, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can enter into the Father except by him. He's the only door and there is no other name in which we can be saved. Well, that's my time. I pray that you all have a blessed week. Is that the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth? One love, five minutes.